So when it comes to gaming laptops, you either choose an Intel Nvidia combo or a complete AMD setup. But Asus is one of the very few companies that is actually pushing on for something different in this regard. With its TOF FX505 series, Asus is offering a unique combination of Ryzen processors with Nvidia graphics. The FX505 series comes in three different variants, the FX505DD, FX505DT, and the FX505DU. The one I have been using for the past couple of weeks is the ASUS TUF FX505DD. I don't know who's behind these name games. Anyways, spec-wise, this one falls on the lower end with AMD Ryzen 5 CPU and the GTX 1050 graphics card. If you want more power, you can get the top-of-the-line FX505DU with Ryzen 7 and GTX 1660 Ti. On a different note, we all know that AMD has been making quite a progress when it comes to processors for desktops. But I don't really know how these mobile chipsets from AMD perform. So like after ages, I was genuinely really happy to test this device. So without any further ado, let's get started with the review. Let's get started with the design and for the most part, the FX505 design is similar to last year's FX504. Just cut the side bezels of the 504 chassis a tad bit and there you have it. The end result is the FX505. On the lid, you can see that converging speed lines are now part of the design with ASUS logo in the middle. It has an all plastic build and that certainly gives away that this device is in fact a budget laptop. However, despite having a plastic build, the laptop feels sturdy and durable. And why not? The TUF moniker does not come without some durability test. And this one has gone through the military grade MIL STD 810G certification. This certification ensures that the device can withstand uh, high altitudes, radiation and a few knocks. So if you get this device, be sure that it is robust enough for the long run. Now, talking about its relative size, I felt that it falls somewhere in the middle. It is not super slim as the ROG Z for series, nor is it bulky like the usual gaming laptops that we are used to seeing. And with a weight of 2.2 kgs, it would be safe to say that it will not be much of a hassle for you to carry this laptop around every day. Moving on, you get a Soul Combo audio jack, a Type-A USB 2.0, two Type-A USB 3.1 Gen 1, an RJ45 LAN port, an HDMI port, and a charging port. And all of these interface ports are located on the left-hand side. Which I felt was a convenient location because now you won't get confused as to which port is on what side. Having said that, on the downside, if you have all the ports on the same side, you are sure to get some tangled wires. Talking about the placement of fans, a major concern for any gamer or for that matter any gaming laptop, the TUF FX505DD has two rear facing vents. Their performance can be controlled through the function buttons. You can either choose silent, performance or the turbo option. Further down the line on both the sides, you get two watt stereo speakers aligned at 45 degrees. And its performance as expected with a gaming laptop is okay-ish. You get decent sound quality with good enough clarity. However, you'd certainly want to use headphones for the best gaming experience. Now inside, the 15.6 inch screen offers an immersive display with thin bezels surrounding the screen. Asus has labeled it as nano edge display. That's because the bezels are really, really thin like a 6.5 mm to be exact. However, the top bezel is thicker in comparison, and that's because it houses an HD 720p webcam right at the center. The other half of the device houses a full-sized keyboard with single-zone RGB lighting. However, the WSAD keys do have a special mention here as those keys are transparent, highlighting their importance. With the Aura Sync technology option, you can actually sync compatible games and music with the RGB keyboard. You can access this option via the armory crate and tweak the lighting of the keyboard as per your preference. While pressing the keys, you get a satisfying soft tap sound which yields a quick response. Thus, typing with this keyboard feels really great. And talking about the trackpad, it is a smooth one with no physical keys, which is not my favorite though. The other thing that I liked with the design is the placement of LED indicators for charging, battery and stuff. It is placed above the power button and is visible even with the lid closed. 
I'm sure that it'll come handy for many out there. So overall, even though this is a budget gaming laptop, the design does not disappoint you. In fact, it fits perfectly everywhere. It's not that shiny or extravagant that you'll feel out of place when taking this to your office. And the inclusion of the stylized keyboard will get you going with your gaming group. So design-wise, for the price, it's a good offering from ASUS. Talking about the display, the FX505DD has a 15.6-inch LED backlit screen. It has an FHD resolution with 1920 by 1080 pixels and offers 60 Hz refresh rate. And unlike those budget laptops with TN panel, this one has an anti-glare IPS level panel. So the display is not compromised in this one. Having said that, its display is not something that'll leave you mesmerized. Nevertheless, its good contrast ratio and above average brightness will suffice for your daily needs. Maybe its budget factor is what contributes for a mere color space coverage of only 60% of sRGB. Now, most expensive gaming laptops these days have around 90% sRGB coverage, so don't expect a very deep and accurate color with this one. Still, this limited color space will not hinder gaming performance so much. The other thing that did not sit well with me regarding the display is its outdoor visibility. It turns very dim when used outdoors, then again it is a gaming laptop and you will mostly use it for playing games while plugged in. Viewing angles are great though, and that is what we can expect from an IPS panel. Under the hood, the FX505DD has the Ryzen 5 3550H processor with 8 cores clocked at 2.1 GHz. It is basically comparable with Intel's Core i5-8300H and uh, Core i7-7300HQ processors. And despite this AMD processor having a lower TDP than its Intel counterpart, it can still compete. As for the memory, you have 8GB DDR4 RAM. There's also a vacant slot for expansion. The Gen 3 SSD here offers a fairly decent sequential read and write speed. So not the quickest out there, but still workable. As for graphics, this laptop has the GTX 1050 with 3GB of GDDR5 VRAM. And this combination of Ryzen 5 CPU with NVIDIA graphics is what I was very excited to put to test. But after using it as my daily driver for almost two weeks now, it left me wanting a tad bit more. Don't get me wrong, the Ryzen 5 is excellent for your normal usage like uh, surfing the web or watching movies, but that is not why one buys a gaming laptop. People buy it to play games on and on that regard, the end result gave me a feeling that it could have done a lot better. I played Apex Legends on this one and the FPS that I got was around 32 on high settings. Now this high setting means that the device is already punching above its weight as it requires 4GB VRAM and this one's got only 3GB. On medium settings, the recommended one, you get around 40 FPS, which despite not being that great is still acceptable. For casual gamers or even those who are sort of veterans, I guess this should be enough. And as usual, you can tweak the visual settings here and there in order to get high frame rates in middle tier games. Another game that I tried was Battlefield 5. I know it's a AAA title and the result was as expected. A laggy bumpy ride around World War II war zone, which I guess is best not to venture out to. The 40 FPS on the minimum setting was quite surprising, however, if you switch to Ultra, the FPS drastically decreases to around 20 to 25. Thus, it is safe to say that the FX505 is simply not built to push beyond what its price limits it to. All the while I was playing games, I switched my fan to the Turbo mode. This mode through appropriate resource allocation helps you boost the performance. But it does come at a cost of a loud whirling noise, so that is something you should look out for. Now moving on to the battery, this device is powered by a 48 watt hour polymer battery. And I have to say that the battery life isn't good. On normal web browsing, I got around 3 hours of battery with brightness set to 50%. And while watching movies, it dropped drastically to one and a half hours. Now, I know that this is a gaming laptop and you would probably use it while it's plugged in. Still, the average backup it gave me seems subpar to me. The charging adapter is slimmer in comparison with those of other gaming laptops. So carrying it alongside the laptop is not a hassle. To buy or not to buy is the real question here. 
with a price tag of rupees 95,000 here in Nepal, which converts to some $700 internationally, the FX505DD is certainly an enticing entry-level laptop. Add to that the unique AMD NVIDIA combo. Uh, this is one laptop that I certainly see myself reaching out for. I know its hardware is not built to run AAA titles, but then again, I am not one of those hardcore gamers as well. And with the experience I have with this laptop, what I can certainly say is I would recommend it to those people who are looking to move out of their current setting for a gaming laptop at a reasonable price. Yes, you can go for it. So that was our review of the ASUS TUF FX505DD. Tell us what you think about this laptop in the comment section below. Till then, I'm Pratima Adhikari and thank you for watching.